and Rebecca's driving us on the climb. Look at this river out there. It is seriously rushing. Uh, the kids are just kind of hanging back there because we're not even getting over five miles an hour right now on this road. And this is how intense the water is. It's insane. <laughs> do not go in the water on a kayaking venture because the Clark's Fork is so high right now. We are having a really good time in the car bouncing around because check out these big oh, giant glacial so boulders everywhere. I mean the road is you know not exactly hospitable here. Isn't that gorgeous though? This is why we live in Montana. <laughs> <laughs> There was a big sign as we were coming in here that said do not get on this water because it's stupid and you'll probably die. Look at all that wood that's washed up over there. That is the heavy flood conditions right now. Ugh. Which is also what has kept us actually from camping up here this weekend because supposedly it was supposed to flood and as you can see that, that kind of sucks down there. So. You know, maybe we shouldn't have been anywhere where that would have been. But it's super pretty. You can just get over the bumpiness. It's pretty extraordinary. Isn't oh, we're about to cross water. Let's check it out. There is a big old waterfall coming down out the mountain there. Are you going to go over it? Yeah. Well, we're going to cross this right here. This is how we roll. Look at this incredible vista all the way through here. We've got our, our very vicious dogs. There's Angelo who's hiding. Can we go please? Yes, we can go. And of course Ruben because you always take a Pomeranian. Oh so, yeah, apparently I'm getting left behind. You are? So apparently I am. I better get in the truck. We're just going through the... That was nothing. Ugh. Oh my hat got flat. <laughs> what the heck? The heck? <laughs> this is just a boulder road. This isn't oh. even a... This isn't even oh, a four-wheel road. All righty. We have gone as far as we can go up the Clark's Fork Canyon because we have literally encountered this washout of the road here. And as you see, I mean, this is all just heavy flow that came down out of the mountains and washed out the entire road. Instead, we're just kind of hanging here. And here's the best part about the Clark's Fork Canyon. As you come up here, you can feel the elementals living up in these high rock zones. Now, elementals, as you know, are God's middle management. That's what I call them for the realm of nature. And elementals, they get out there and they take care of all kinds of things. So we actually had some elementals glowering at us as we were coming in. These beings live up in these high rock faces. And just look at the geology of this area. I mean, all of that stone was just pushed up by incredible geomagnetic activity millions and millions of years ago. And if you look at this, I mean, it's literally just an incredible encasement of rock that we're standing within right now. It's, it's fascinating to me how big this entire area is with incredible vault and rock ceilings. I'm going to join everybody as they're walking up the way, the kids and the dogs. Yet I wanted at the same time to show you guys how incredible it is. This is why I live in Montana. It's why my wife lives in Montana. Because you have these sacred, incredible spots that you can get to. And they're very, very mystical. All of these boulders are incredibly full of quartz crystal, of limestone content. So I am literally right now standing in a bowl that is a giant metaphysical radar dish for all types of energy.
Okay, one of the hazards of wandering around in the middle of nature, especially in the Beartooth Mountains, is you once in a while can come across somebody who actually lives here, like a rattlesnake. Now, my niece Hania was wandering around and she about stepped on this little guy over there. And of course, he's just trying to get warm. He's trying to live his little life over there, right? However, when you're dealing with this kind of rocky area, it's important to remember Mr. Rattlesnake is right there and I'm a good distance from it and he doesn't care that I'm here because he's just trying to get warm. But that's something you want to be careful of. They're nasty when you come up on them. It gets unfortunate. So one of the things you got to look out for when you're hiking around in the bear tooths and just having fun and looking for gold, which we were finding little gold flecks on the side of the river. Whenever you have this high river, it actually unearths gold that's underneath of the big rock formations that are out in the middle there. That was fun. Found a couple little flakes here and there, which is hard because you got to make sure it's not pyrite or fool's gold, but check this out. This is what you've got to look out for as you're having this wonderful day in the sun. All of a sudden, the bear tooths will start to bring you just a little bit of a storm. So that may not look like much right now, but uh, <laughs> we're going to track that sucker because that's probably a heck of a lot worse than it looks. As you can see, this is part of the road that we didn't take and it's just more stream and washout. So my dog just found this big giant fluff of hair down underneath one of these rocks. It's really important to remember up here that uh, we're certainly not alone. And this is notorious bear country up here in the Beartooth Mountains, thus the namesake. And so we gotta just make sure, ah, Angela, no. No, no. Dirty, oh, oh. We just gotta make sure that we're not coming across any bears midnight snacks. That, that never ends well, never ends well. What are we doing? Waterfall. We, we found a waterfall, right? It's a hidden waterfall. It's a hidden one and you can't even see it over there. But there is this super cool waterfall that's up in the rock. So we're going to show it to you when we get there. And this is a totally different spot. This is lowland. See the stream? Oh. <laughs> Let's go.
Thanks for climbing up with us. We got to get out of here because we got a storm blowing in. Oh yeah, I feel it. Yeah, right? But ladies, we got to leave our wishes. And thanks for joining us on this climb in the Bear Tooth Mountains up to that magical, mystical waterfall in Elemental Country. Now we're going to leave our wishes and head back. Take care.